Welcome back to The Big Picture. I'm joined now by Kathy Sauter, who is from Topps Market. And Kathy has been gracious enough to bring me my food for the next day or two. <laughs> oh, very nice. Got you uh, set up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Topps' involvement with uh, the Taste of Buffalo. It's a different event this year, and was there much thought that had to go into whether or not you were going to be involved, or how did that work out? So this is our 17th year as the pre presenting sponsor or of the Taste of Buffalo, and we jumped right on board when we got the call saying that they needed to switch things up differently this year. Obviously, it's a different world, and they needed to approach the event differently, and we were right on board. We knew that we definitely needed to support our community. Uh, so many businesses that participate in the Taste of Buffalo definitely um, rely on the income of this event and so we wanted to support those local wineries the restaurants the food trucks and so of course we answered the call mm, very good and uh, the, uh, the the taste now is going to be virtual and how is tops going to participate in that uh, tell me a little bit about kind of your role and how people can part you know take part sure so definitely it's a lot different than what we're accustomed to we love the thrill of being down in Niagara Square with everyone in Western New York and having that big red and white tent down at Niagara Square but we did have to switch things up a little bit differently this year so we're welcoming everybody to every tops location has a special tops takeout menu and we've got a lot of different options for people to try um, so no matter what your palate might be we might have something that'll interest you um, we brought a lot of different items here today for you guys all to enjoy and uh, I'd like to run through those with you today if that's okay. Um, we've got first new to our whole pizza lineup is our eight inch personal pizzas. They are on hand stretched dough and made with locally made sauce and galbani mozzarella. That mozzarella is locally made as well. And you can top that however you'd like. So you can enjoy that on a lunch break, have it as an appetizer. It's something that you can share with someone. You can even make that as our famous breakfast pizza. So if you can't wait till lunch or dinner to snack on that, but that's something easy to uh, grab and go. I'm happy with the pepperoni. <laughs> That's a crowd pleaser, right? Cheese and pepperoni is a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to have something a bit larger for your family, we have our family mac and cheese. It's not your average mac and cheese. It's always rich and creamy in texture, but we have three different toppings for you this year to try. So we have a barbecued brisket. We have a barbecued pulled pork, but today I brought my favorite, which is a buffalo chicken tender. It's diced up on top with crumbly blue cheese. So this version kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You can have a little bit of that chicken tender, buffalo wing favorite, and mac and cheese, so you don't have to choose between both. Well, I'm ready to break now. I'm not <laughs> sure we, well, I guess we gotta keep going, but uh, this is great. I, just, mm. I know, it gets a taste buds yeah, going, it just, right? It, it keeps, yeah, there's some food for thought here, folks. I mean, really, really. Um, there definitely is. <laughs> now, every year, and, and you guys typically have a, a wheel that you spin for prizes. We do. Is that going to happen again this year, virtually? We are, we are. And when you spin the wheel online virtually, there's some great prizes for people. We have Tops sample boxes that people will enjoy some great Tops products in. And we also have gift cards for not only Tops friendly markets, but local restaurants. So people will enjoy a chance to still have that thrill that they had down at, at the Taste of Buffalo by spinning the prize wheel, but also be able to do it out of the comfort of their own homes. Hmm. Now, coming out of the coronavirus lockdown and the situation, a lot of the stores had limited supplies of various things, you know, paper products at the beginning and, you know, the meat packing industry was, you know, they were limited for a while. Sure. What's the situation now in terms of the, the shelves and, and stocking the stores? Is it back to normal? Are there any limitations on anything? We're definitely getting back up to speed. As you mentioned in the beginning, it definitely, everyone rushed to the stores to get things right away. They weren't sure what direction the world was going in, right? So we definitely have seen things go back up to normal quantities, but there are still some things that you might still struggle to find on stores across Western New York, not just at top. So we are doing the very best we can to work with our vendors to keep those stores uh, shelves stocked as best we, as we can for all of our shoppers. Okay, all right. Well, well, you know, tell me a little bit about, we've, we've got mustard and egg potato salad. We do. Um, coleslaw and classic potato salad and macaroni salad. I mean, all these things save you some time at home, and I'm sure they're quite good. I mean, there's, these are typical summer 
enjoyment. <laughs> and, and you nailed it right in the head. These are our summer salads. And so you can find these right in our grab and go cases. So if you're on the fly or you all of a sudden get that last minute company that say, oh, we're stopping by after, after work today, um, you know, and you want to have something for your guests. These are great for picnics as well. They come in both a 16 and 32 ounce size for you. So depending on the size of the crew that you need to feed, you might have a big family. They come, as you mentioned, our classic potato salad, our mustard and egg potato salad, a macaroni salad and a coleslaw. So great to go along with that barbecue that you have in your backyard or if you're gonna go out to the lake and enjoy a nice summer day because we've got some beautiful weather out there. And what's that on the end? Oh, my favorite part of any meal, I don't know about you, is the <laughs> desserts. So we have two beautiful desserts in our uh, bakery area. We have Kenny's Key Lime Pie. It's mm. very light, but sweet and tart and just very refreshing. Mm. Well, if you have no stomach for crowds, <laughs> this is where you want to be, folks. <laughs> Mm -mm. And right here, this is this looks. I mean, it, this looks too good to eat. I mean, you get you have to put this in a case and just keep it for years. Right, <laughs> it's, it's too picture pretty. Perfect, it right? Perfect, right? It really is. I it, was very ginger in bringing that in to make sure uh, it didn't, uh, you know, miss a beat over there. So. Every year when you come down to the Taste of Buffalo, Topps is known for its strawberry shortcake. So mm. we had to make sure we had something of that nature on the menu in store. So this is our strawberry square cake. So it's a golden cake topped with fresh strawberries and a nice strawberry glaze topped with fresh whipped cream. So that is definitely be a crowd pleaser for your family. Mm. And we also have the, the sample of the pizza that you were talking about. And th this is the small size. Yes. You said you have a, a larger size as well. We have full size pizzas in our uh, carry out cafe area mm -hmm. as well so if you have a little bit more of an appetite mm -hmm. and need to feed a bigger crowd you can do that as well mm -hmm. um, but these are our particular items that we have featured on our menu for the taste of buffalo they are available now through july 18th for the special menu but you can find all of these items in store throughout um, the year this is not just special just for this time of um, of year for us this is something you can enjoy all year long at tops now are the pizzas pre-cooked or do you they're just basically prepared and you put them into the toaster oven or whatever they are special just for you. They're right, made ready to order. All so right. you walk right up to the <laughs> right up to the carry out cafe, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. you're feeling at the moment. You're thinking, oh, you know, I'd like some peppers and onions on that. Maybe some fresh basil. They'll stretch that dough fresh for you, just like you're at a mm -hmm. pizzeria. And this any of the uh, any of the locations, any of the tops locations, how many are, are there in Western New York now? Uh, Western New York, we have almost 50 locations right here in this area. So mm -hmm. there's one bound to be on the next corner you drive by. Wow. Okay, and so, you know, tell me a little bit more about how people can get online and involved. Where should they go? How do they get involved? Sure, so if you go to topsmarkets.com, we have a special button right on our landing page there for the Taste of Buffalo. You're gonna find more information about all the delicious foods we talked about today. You're gonna find information about the prize wheel and the Taste of Buffalo as a whole. So I know Aaron talked about a little bit earlier about voting for your favorite Taste of Buffalo menu item. We're a little biased. We'd love for you to vote for tops, um, but there's so many different things to see and do this weekend virtually for the Taste of Buffalo at home. We just hope people really enjoy it. My thanks to Kathy for bringing my nourishment for the day. And thanks to Aaron Collins for updating us on the Taste of Buffalo coming soon to a computer near you. And thanks to Drew Serza for the information on this year's Wingfest changes. And finally, Thanks to you for watching the big picture and allowing me to get this free food. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching WBBZ-TV, your hometown station. We'll see you next time on The Big Picture.